Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Today we're embarking on a journey that brings us closer to the heart of the Kaaba itself, where a mysterious yet captivating stone has fascinated Muslims for over a thousand years. This is the Black Stone, or Hajar al Aswad, a blessed gem that sits on one corner of the Kaaba, drawing pilgrims who stretch out their hands, yearning for a brief but powerful connection. But have we ever paused to ask ourselves why this stone holds such an honored place in our hearts and history? Why do Muslims from all over the world raise their hands towards it, hoping for a single touch or even a glimpse? While many of us know that this stone is connected to the Kaaba, and we've perhaps heard stories about its miraculous background, there's so much more beneath the surface that remains hidden. Let's start with the moment that many pilgrims cherish as they circle the Kaaba. Seeing the black stone, raising their hands towards it, or even kissing it if possible, it's a moment of deep emotion, a sense of closeness to Allah. This simple yet profound act connects us to an ancient legacy that began long before us, and inshallah, will continue long after we're gone. This humble black stone, nestled within the Kaaba's walls, is far more than a historic artifact. It holds within it a profound reminder of Jannah, the heavenly paradise, and it serves as a portal connecting earth to the realms of divine mercy and forgiveness. Imagine the scene thousands of years ago when Allah sent down this stone. According to Islamic tradition, this wasn't an ordinary rock. It was sent directly from Jannah as a gift to humanity. Can you picture that moment? A pure, radiant stone, bright and gleaming, untouched by the sins of humanity, placed on earth as a sign of Allah's mercy and love. Over time, however, the purity of this stone became tarnished, and it eventually turned black, a transformation symbolizing the burden of human sin that it had come to bear. Despite this change, the black stone retained its sanctity, becoming a constant reminder of our need for forgiveness and Allah's boundless mercy. Today, when we see this stone, we're reminded of its origins in Jannah and how Allah's mercy is forever within reach. The significance of the black stone deepens when we reflect on its connection to the Prophet Ibrahim, A.S., and his son Ismail, A.S. Together they were entrusted with building the Kaaba, a sanctuary for worshipping Allah alone. As they constructed the Kaaba, stone by stone, the black stone was given a special place, a marker within the structure that would become the heart of pilgrimage for Muslims for all time. Imagine the Prophet Ibrahim, H.E.S., standing beside his son, lovingly placing this stone and making dua that Allah would accept their efforts. From that moment, the black stone became a symbol of dedication, sacrifice, and the pure, unyielding love for Allah that transcends generations. And to this day, when we go for Hajj or Umrah, we follow in their footsteps seeking that same nearness to Allah that the Prophet sought. Each touch, each kiss of the black stone is a reminder of this journey, a journey that brings us closer to our Creator, even if only for a fleeting moment. Scholars have taught us that while we don't worship the black stone, our reverence for it stems from our love for Allah and our desire to emulate the Prophet Muhammad, who himself honored the stone as part of the Hajj rituals. So each time we witness the black stone, we are not merely looking at a relic of history. We are, in fact, beholding a symbol that unites us with our past, present, and future, all in one. The origins of the black stone are shrouded in divine mystery, yet they hold profound lessons for us. When Allah sent this stone down to earth, He chose a symbol that would remain a constant beacon of faith for His servants. Many believe that the black stone was initially a gleaming white gem, radiant and flawless, as if directly reflecting the beauty of Jannah. Its presence on earth was a message, a reminder that this life is temporary and that ultimately our true home lies in the hereafter. For the early generations who looked upon this shining gem, it must have felt like a glimpse into the heavenly realm, a token of paradise brought down to a world full of trials and tribulations. It was a silent yet powerful call to those who sought Allah's pleasure to remember that something beyond this world exists, a realm filled with purity, beauty, and eternal peace. 
Over time, however, as humanity fell into sin, the black stone began to absorb the weight of those transgressions. Gradually, it changed color, turning darker, until it became the blackened stone we see today. This transformation wasn't a sign of degradation. Rather, it was a reflection of the mercy Allah has for His creation. The black stone stands as a symbol of how Allah continuously forgives His servants, allowing their sins to be washed away if they sincerely turn back to Him. The fact that this stone, which was once pure and white, turned black due to human sins, yet remains in its honored position on the Kaaba, shows us that, even though we may err and fall into sin, Allah is always willing to forgive us and elevate us if we repent sincerely. As we approach the black stone, whether in person or even from afar, we are reminded of this journey from purity to fallibility and ultimately to redemption. It teaches us that even though we may carry the burdens of our mistakes, Allah's mercy and love are vast. The black stone invites us to humble ourselves, to acknowledge our flaws, and to seek Allah's forgiveness wholeheartedly. Each time we look at it, we're reminded that, just as the stone was sent from Jannah, Allah has sent countless reminders and blessings to us, guiding us towards Him in the hopes that we, too, may one day return to the home He has prepared for the righteous. This stone, though silent, speaks volumes to the believer's heart, calling each one of us to reflect, repent, and renew our connection with our Creator. This is why every Muslim, whether performing Hajj, Umrah, or simply witnessing the black stone from afar, feels that indescribable pull, a desire to reach out and feel a closeness to Allah. The black stone's significance deepens when we look at how it plays a role in the rituals of pilgrimage. During Hajj and Umrah, the sight of the black stone marks a deeply personal and spiritual experience for every Muslim. Pilgrims come from every corner of the globe, drawn by a sense of devotion and a desire to fulfill the commands of Allah. When they see the Kaaba for the first time, emotions surge, and the black stone serves as a focal point that symbolizes a connection to both their Creator and the prophets who have walked this sacred path before them. Each time a pilgrim completes a circuit around the Kaaba, the black stone acts as a physical reminder of faith's continuity. Touching, kissing, or even gesturing toward it has become a way to honor not only Allah's house, but the heritage of Prophet Muhammad, who performed these very acts with reverence. Imagine, as the pilgrim approaches the stone, they raise their hand in respect, echoing the actions of countless faithful before them. For many, the moment is overwhelming, almost indescribable, a deeply felt experience of coming close to Allah. The simple gesture toward the black stone as they pass signifies a profound act of submission, a declaration of love for Allah, and an acknowledgement of their own humility in the grand scheme of creation. They understand that touching the stone, even symbolically, is not an act of worship directed toward it, but a way to connect their hearts to the one who created it and placed it on this earth. In a sea of thousands of pilgrims, each one moving in unison around the Kaaba, the black stone becomes the point that binds them together in purpose. There's a beauty in this unity. Every believer, regardless of nationality, race, or status, follows the same ritual. This shared experience is a humbling reminder of the unity of Islam and the bond that ties all Muslims together. The black stone serves as a unique intersection of physical and spiritual realms a point of contact between humanity's world and the divine. Furthermore, the Prophet Muhammad taught us that touching or gesturing toward the black stone is an act of immense reward. It's said that he would kiss the black stone every time he passed it during his tawaf, setting a timeless example for all Muslims. The beloved companion Umar ibn al-Khattab, upon touching the black stone, once famously said, I know that you are just a stone, and that you can neither bring benefit nor harm. If I had not seen the Prophet kissing you, I would not have kissed you. Umar's words remind us that while the black stone itself is not a source of power, it serves as a symbol, a sacred tradition that strengthens our devotion to Allah 
and our desire to follow in the Prophet's footsteps. The Blackstone's role in pilgrimage also provides an opportunity for pilgrims to cleanse themselves of sins and come closer to Allah. Each time a Muslim circles the Kaaba, they're reminded of their spiritual journey, of leaving behind sins and seeking purification. The stone becomes an emblem of Allah's mercy and forgiveness. According to tradition, when a person touches or kisses the black stone, it represents a kind of renewal, as if they are casting off the weight of their mistakes. Although the ritual doesn't erase sins by itself, it symbolizes a commitment to self-improvement and the believer's desire to live in Allah's favor. It's a moment of promise, a way for the pilgrim to recommit to leading a life that pleases Allah. The act of trying to touch or kiss the black stone brings about a personal reflection, a moment when one is acutely aware of their own intentions and spiritual state. The act may seem simple, but for many, it becomes a pivotal moment of connection, a point where worldly distractions fade and only the bond with Allah remains. The yearning to touch the black stone is less about the act itself and more about the closeness to Allah that it represents. In that moment, the black stone becomes a silent witness to the pilgrim's love, humility, and desire for redemption. Throughout history, the black stone has witnessed countless acts of devotion. It has survived wars, conquests, and calamities, each time remaining a symbol of resilience and steadfastness in faith. Islamic history holds many stories about the challenges and tribulations that the black stone has faced, serving as a testament to its enduring sanctity and the high regard in which it's held by Muslims around the world. The black stone's significance isn't limited to its place within the Kaaba. It has also played a central role in some of the most notable events in Islamic history, bearing witness to changes and upheavals yet remaining constant in its role as a revered symbol of faith. One of the most remarkable historical episodes involving the Black Stone occurred during the time of the Prophet Muhammad, when he played a pivotal role in resolving a dispute concerning its placement. When the Kaaba was being reconstructed, a disagreement arose among the Quraysh tribes about who would have the honor of placing the Black Stone back into the Kaaba's structure. Each tribe felt they had the right, and the situation escalated to the point where bloodshed seemed inevitable. Then, by Allah's wisdom, the Prophet Muhammad, known even then as Al-Amin, or the Trustworthy One, was chosen to settle the matter. With his remarkable wisdom, the Prophet proposed a solution that not only preserved peace, but highlighted his role as a peacemaker. He suggested that the black stone be placed on a cloth and that each tribe's leader hold a part of the cloth, lifting the stone together. This way, each tribe shared in the honor, and unity was preserved. Then, when the cloth was raised to the appropriate height, the Prophet took the black stone with his own blessed hands and placed it in its rightful position. This act was a testament to his wisdom, leadership, and commitment to unity. Today, the story of how he averted bloodshed through diplomacy and fairness remains a powerful lesson, reminding us of the importance of seeking solutions that benefit all. In later centuries, the Black Stone faced one of its most challenging ordeals when it was stolen by the Karmatians, a rebellious sect that attacked Mecca in the early 10th century. The Karmatians, led by their leader Abu Tahir, committed a brutal attack on the pilgrims in Mecca, causing great loss of life and even desecrating the sacred sites. In an act of shocking sacrilege, they removed the black stone from the Kaaba and took it back to their stronghold in Bahrain. For over 20 years, the black stone was held captive, a dark time in the history of Islam when the Kaaba was deprived of one of its most sacred elements. The loss of the black stone was deeply felt by Muslims everywhere, as it was not only a physical absence, but a painful reminder of the trials faced by the Ummah. Finally, after years of negotiations and prayers, the black stone was returned to Mecca and reinstated in its rightful place in the Kaaba. Its return was celebrated by Muslims worldwide as a moment of triumph and a reminder of Allah's protection over what is sacred. The ordeal of the black stone's abduction and eventual return became part of its story, adding to its legacy 
as a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity. It reminds us that no matter what trials we face, Allah's protection is ever-present and His will prevails in the end. Today, when Muslims touch the black stone, they are not just reaching for a piece of history. They are connecting with a relic that has survived centuries of trials and tribulations, standing as a witness to faith's endurance. The story of the black stone serves as a reminder that no matter the challenges faced by the Muslim community, unity and devotion to Allah can overcome any adversity. Its continued presence on the Kaaba is a testament to the strength and resilience of Islam and the enduring connection between the physical and spiritual, between humanity and the divine. Every glance, every gesture, and every prayer made toward the black stone is a reminder of the legacy that it carries and the unbreakable connection it offers between Muslims and their creator. As it has weathered centuries, it calls upon Muslims today to remain steadfast, united, and resilient, drawing from its strength to renew their own faith and commitment to Allah. This sacred relic holds a mirror up to every believer, asking them to remember their purpose, to rise above trials, and to strive for unity and peace, just as the Prophet Muhammad demonstrated with his wisdom and compassion. Through its history and resilience, the Black Stone continues to inspire, serving as a timeless reminder of Allah's mercy, the unity of the Ummah, and the enduring power of faith. The Black Stone holds a profound spiritual significance that goes beyond what we can see or touch. In Islamic tradition, it's seen not only as a physical object, but also as a symbol carrying deep mystical meaning. Some scholars describe it as a connection to the heavens, often calling it the right hand of Allah on earth. This idea, of course, doesn't mean that the black stone is a physical representation of Allah's hand, but rather it serves as a metaphor for the covenant between Allah and His servants. The symbolism of the black stone can remind us of a handshake, an unspoken yet powerful promise between Allah and humanity, one of devotion, repentance, and seeking forgiveness. When Muslims raise their hands toward the black stone, it's as if they're reaching out in faith, longing to connect with the divine, symbolically placing their trust and commitment in Allah's mercy and guidance. In the mystical traditions of Islamic thought, the black stone also represents the heart of the believer. Just as the stone began as a pure white gem and later darkened over time, the heart too is susceptible to darkening under the weight of sins and worldly distractions. When we approach the black stone during Hajj or Umrah, we are, in a way, acknowledging this inner journey the process of cleansing our hearts, polishing them to restore the purity that Allah loves. The stone's change in color, from white to black, is a stark reminder of human fallibility. Yet it also carries a message of hope. If our hearts have darkened, we can still purify them through repentance, good deeds, and closeness to Allah. This symbolic relationship between the black stone and the believer's heart encourages Muslims to strive for inner purity and sincerity, seeking to renew their bond with Allah each time they approach the Kaaba. The black stone has also been described as a silent witness to the deeds of humanity. Some hadiths tell us that on the day of judgment, the black stone will testify to the sincerity of those who kissed it or honored it during their pilgrimage. Just as our actions are recorded and will be displayed before us on that day, the black stone, too, will bear witness to the moments when we sought Allah's mercy and forgiveness in its presence. This mystical aspect of the black stone brings an added depth to the pilgrim's experience. It's not just a physical act, but a declaration of faith, humility, and hope. When we approach the black stone, it's as if we're expressing a silent prayer, asking it to remember our sincerity, our moments of repentance, and our deepest desires for Allah's mercy. The notion that the black stone could bear witness on our behalf encourages Muslims to approach it with the utmost respect and sincerity, seeing it as a sacred witness that Allah has placed on this earth. For those who believe in the spiritual symbolism of the black stone, this experience becomes a transformative moment. It's a reminder that in the eyes of Allah, our intentions matter 
and our smallest acts of devotion don't go unnoticed. Each time a Muslim gestures toward or touches the black stone, they are renewing this spiritual bond, affirming their commitment to live righteously and to follow the path of the prophets. This symbolic meaning of the black stone encourages believers to reflect on their own lives, urging them to cast aside sins, seek forgiveness, and purify their intentions. The black stone becomes a compass of sorts, guiding us back to Allah and helping us navigate our inner spiritual journey. While the physical experience of the black stone may be temporary, the lessons and reflections it inspires last far beyond the pilgrimage. The reverence for this small yet powerful stone is a reminder that in Islam, even the simplest acts can carry profound meaning. As Muslims reach out to the black stone, they are, in essence, reaching out to Allah with hope, gratitude, and humility. It's a moment of personal and spiritual significance that encourages the believer to align their heart with the divine purpose and to live a life of sincerity and piety. The story of the Black Stone also brings powerful lessons in unity and humility. Centuries ago, when the Prophet Muhammad helped resolve a major dispute surrounding the placement of the Black Stone, he taught a lesson in humility and wisdom that is still deeply relevant today. The Quraysh, the ruling tribe of Mecca, were in the process of rebuilding the Kaaba, and as the time came to place the Black Stone in its position, tension arose. Each clan wanted the honor of placing the stone, as it was seen as a prestigious act, and the disagreement quickly became heated. In a society where pride and tribal affiliation were deeply valued, this dispute could have easily escalated into violence. However, Allah had a different plan, and in His wisdom, the Prophet Muhammad was chosen to resolve the issue. In a brilliant act of diplomacy, the Prophet Muhammad suggested a solution that allowed every clan to participate. He placed the black stone on a piece of cloth and asked each tribal leader to hold a corner of the cloth, allowing all of them to lift the stone together. Once they raised the stone to its designated position, the Prophet himself placed it in the Kaaba with his blessed hands. This solution not only prevented a potential conflict, but also brought the clans together, reinforcing the importance of unity and cooperation. By involving everyone, he demonstrated that pride and ego should be set aside for the greater good, a lesson that holds immense value for Muslims today. This story of the Prophet's wisdom shows us how humility and fairness can bridge differences and bring people together. The Black Stone, therefore, is more than just a relic from the past. It is a symbol of peace, unity, and the Prophet's remarkable ability to resolve conflicts with grace and wisdom. Each time Muslims approach the Black Stone, they are reminded of this story and the values it represents. It encourages believers to set aside pride, seek harmony, and work toward the collective good, just as the Prophet did. The Black Stone also represents the importance of humility in worship. By bowing, raising our hands, or kissing it during Hajj or Umrah, we recognize our smallness before Allah. The act of bowing or touching the black stone is a physical manifestation of humility, a reminder that in the presence of Allah, all earthly status and wealth are meaningless. The black stone reminds us that every believer, regardless of their background, stands equal before Allah, united in their submission to Him. The lessons of unity and humility embodied by the black stone encourage Muslims to apply these values, not only during pilgrimage, but in all aspects of life, promoting a spirit of compassion, fairness, and respect toward others. In essence, the Black Stone serves as a timeless reminder of what it means to be humble and united in faith. When Muslims stand in the courtyard of the Kaaba, facing the Black Stone, they are reminded that faith is a shared journey and that despite individual differences, they are all part of one Ummah. This collective experience fosters a sense of unity that transcends borders, cultures, and languages, reminding Muslims of the strength that comes from standing together as one community under Allah's guidance. The presence of the Black Stone also calls Muslims to reflect on the importance of following the Prophet's teachings in all matters. 
His wise handling of the dispute over the Blackstone's placement remains a timeless example of how to resolve conflicts with fairness and respect. It reminds Muslims to approach disagreements with patience, wisdom, and a commitment to peace. This story, passed down through generations, encourages Muslims to adopt the Prophet's example in their own lives, striving to be fair, just, and compassionate in all their interactions. Through these reflections, the Black Stone teaches us that humility, unity, and devotion to Allah are essential to living a righteous life. Each pilgrimage serves as a reminder of these values, helping Muslims strengthen their faith and renew their commitment to live in harmony with others. The Black Stone is thus not only a sacred symbol within the Kaaba, but also a beacon of spiritual guidance, inviting every believer to embody the values of Islam in their daily lives. As we come to the end of our journey exploring the hidden secrets of the Black Stone, let's take a moment to reflect on the remarkable connection it gives us to our faith, our past, and ultimately, to Allah. From its origins in Jannah to its role as a symbol of unity, humility, and forgiveness, the Black Stone is more than just a piece of history. It's a reminder of Allah's mercy and our own spiritual journey. The next time we see an image of the Kaaba, or even, inshallah, stand before it ourselves, let's remember that connection, that silent yet profound promise of Allah's mercy. May Allah grant us all the chance to visit His sacred house, to reach out toward the Black Stone with hearts full of devotion and sincerity, and to walk in the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Until next time, may Allah keep us all on the path of faith, compassion, and unity. Jazakum Allahu Khairan for joining us today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video so more hearts can connect with the beauty of our deen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.